Yo, what's good, guys? Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Just been busy with other stuff. And, um, yeah. Today I'm here to talk about the Knicks, you know? Talking about R.J. Barrett. I think he is the hidden gem, hidden gem for the New York Knicks if they want to have a really successful season this year. R.J. Barrett just needs to be consistent, which he has been in the past few games, which has been very good for the New York Knicks. Knicker Bockers. And I was, as I was looking at the New York Knicks last few games, one player that has really stepped up in the stat sheet has been Julius Randle. He actually has been really good this season for the New York Knicks, which I haven't, which I haven't really looked into that much. But uh, yeah, it's really good for the Knicks because I know the past season, um, Julius Randle, I don't think he was doing too good at the end of the season, if I remember correctly. And then that's the reason why I kind of wanted, wanted him to be traded. And the sad thing is that the Knicks didn't even make the playoffs last season, which sucked. But I know they made it the um not the last year, but the year before, and they just got bounced out by the Atlanta Hawks, which was freaking trash, bro. Like Trey Young's balding, bro. Like get him out of here. But um yeah, R.J. Barrett, if he can be more consistent, which he, which is really good, he just needs to create more shots of himself. And um last the game that I was watching the highlights of. For the Charlotte Hornets, he had his career high in assist, I'm pretty sure, which is really good. If he can keep that at like a strong up-and-coming pace, because he hasn't really been a strong passer in his career so far. So, if he can continue that growth spurt, that will be really good for the Knicks. He, they, they just need R.J. Barrett to just keep going. The biggest problem, in my opinion, for R.J. Barrett is just his consistency. He just needs to keep up the consistency with his shooting and just how he... Um, puts himself out there for the fans and uh, on the court because he's one of those players like he'll get you good looks but he won't finish all the time that's exactly what he does with his layups like every time he'll make a good move to the basket but then he'll miss like an easy one an easy layup that's uh, been a kind of a problem that I've seen with RJ Barrett and the thing he needs to do is he can't he can't be Forcing bad shots because he also does that a lot. He just needs to keep up with some good passing. Like I've seen in the Charlotte Hornets game, he got his career high in assists. So hopefully that's a room for improvement. But that's definitely something that R.J. Barrett has to focus on. And it was also something that he said he'd focus on in the offseason. But um, he said he'd also, he would also uh, improve on his free throw shooting, which he did. He's currently 8% higher. He's shooting around like 78%, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what the Knicks need to do. They just need to keep coaching up R.J. Barrett, keep up his confidence. That's the biggest thing in basketball is having a good confidence level. If a player doesn't have a motive or confidence, they're not going to be good on the court. Because if somebody's playing for nothing and you got somebody playing for a million dollars, obviously the person who's playing for the million dollars is going to play a lot harder. You know? And um, also for, uh, who else? Yeah, Jalen Brunson has just been such a great acquisition for the Knicks. I can't express it enough. Like, he's exactly what the Knicks needed, and he's also getting improvement. And the good thing about getting Jalen Brunson, he's also um, back with his old coach, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. I think it's one of the assistant coaches or something, but I'm not too sure. The Knicks just need to keep up their fierce defense with Mitchell Robinson on the court. Mitchell Robinson is that heart and soul of the defense. Just need to keep up. Uh, Getting the good defense of the perimeter shots because I remember seeing the Warriors game. Their defense on that perimeter shot, they just let too many good shots open. It was really bad. But, um, yeah. And then uh, Knicks just need to keep passing the ball, keep moving the ball around. I think the Knicks do need a good trade. They really just need to put a good trade out there for um, trade in uh, Cameron Reddish, Derrick Rose, and Evan Fournier. And they just get, like, two good bench players, I would say. And they could be a really good team, I would say. Maybe around, like, a fourth or fifth seed. Obviously, they're not going to win the playoffs this year. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about R.J. Barrett. And I really like how he's been playing the last few games. He just needs to keep that up. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's not easy.